Hey guys, this is Angela Lau from Angels News World, and today we have the topic about celebrity interview, and we have Johan Calvert on the chat. Hi, Johan. Hello, Angela, and hello, Cloud. Hello, Andrew, and hello, Macau. Would you like to introduce yourself to our audience? Gladly. My name is Johan Kolberg. I'm an actor born in Sweden, but I started my career in China from 2009 to 2014. My first film was The Last Kung Fu Monk. My famous movie is The Resistance, and I also known for other、uh, TV drama from CCTV8, for example, Da Jiaxia and、uh, Gui Ni Liao Li, or in English title Marriage Cuisine. My last job was actually last year for a Macau movie, actually. Uh, called Macau 2525, and、uh, this year I continue with Macau, working for your production with Angel Sky in Angels News World. And、uh, right now, currently, I'm working on my own film where I'm doing my directing debut, called、uh, The Age of Human. Would you like to introduce it and、um, show us the trailer? Of course.、Uh, the Age of Human is inspired by the book called Do Androids Dream or Electric Sheep? Which has also、uh, been inspired by a classic movie from 1982 with Harrison Ford called Blade Runner. The story is about a detective who hunts android or robots who look like humans、uh, because they are illegal on Earth. However, he meets one special android, a female android, that he starts to develop some feelings for, and、uh, and then he starts to second guess his job. And、uh, so there's kind of like、uh, a mi- feeling of.、Uh, And what makes us human, and what separates them from us? So it's kind of like machine versus human. At the same time, a human finds his humanity, and at the same time, can a machine also be human, or is it just a copy? This, the story is also a little bit about life, human life,、uh, why it's so important to take care of、uh, our families and about our pets. And the trailer you're about to see, that's a pre-trailer. It's not finished yet. It's because we're still under production, but. The, here's a few example of、uh, what the movie would be like. So please enjoy. Wow, that's fantastic! And also, I have a little surprise.、Uh, I have one scene completed、uh, with me and you, Angela. So this is your scene when you play part of a pet shop owner who my character is trying to buy a pet from you, but I'm not allowed because I am a blacklisted character. My character is blacklisted,、uh, and why he's blacklisted, I will not tell because I don't want to spoil before the movie is released. So, but here it is. I I hope you like it. Oh, they hold a jetter. Hold on, monkey. Hey, 出現漂亮地方啦！盡力啦！我個目標係令到我哋嘅寵物覺得舒服。Yes, I see. I'm also on the film. <laughs> yes. Yes, and I'm very happy to have you in the movie.、Um, you did a great job in your scene, and、uh, and I'm also glad that we also got a Japanese company called Akase Planning also、uh, co-directing or co-working with our film, and it will be a great、uh, experience because now this movie, even though Uh, most people filming themselves at home,、um, like with green screen or something behind them,、um, 
uh, at home, and then they send their scenes to me, and then I pick a scene, and then I send it to the editor team, uh, which is, the editor team is in Macau, but if there's something they can't do, I will send it to you, because you also did some editing yourself, and you did a great job too, by the way, and also there's another edit team also in Japan, so we have, we have, uh, of course, the, the this movie is Makani's movie, but there's a lot of co-production, so you could say it's a very worldwide movie. Do you have any idea to show or um, what do you want to teach the audience? Yeah, because now we live in a time during the pandemic and uh, currently in Europe we have almost a, a crazy war going on between Russia and Ukraine. So this goal with this movie is to teach people about life is important. Uh, that was the idea also of the book, Do Andrews Dream of Electric Sheep? And uh, the goal with the book, and my goal as well, is actually to teach people to praise what we have, and that is a life. And uh, also I want to teach young kids today to not uh, be too encouraged with machines. Uh, that's what the Android part is about. Uh, even though they look human, but they are not us. They don't have a, a life organism as we have. So I try to teach young kids not to be, you know, fully... Which you can see nowadays, most kids like have an iPad or an iPhone or something, or computer games on their hand basically. So. So my goal is actually, uh, basically, basically to make humanity come back to life, basically, to realize what we have and appreciate it. What is the purpose of your filmmaking this time? Actually, I have three goals uh, to complete with this movie. The first one is uh, to uh, make a better point uh, in the World Cup of Movies. Uh, last year, we were representing Macau with Macau 2525, and I always felt guilty about that, that I didn't do my best for that movie. Uh, because when we filmed last year, I was like, okay, let, let's just do it. And then we rushed it, so we, we, we didn't have any plan, we didn't think, think it through, you know. But this time, we will think more carefully, and uh, this time we have more people, and uh, more, uh, uh, more people involved to work with this. So, so it, will be, um, it will be actually um, a little more, a uh, better movie than last time. I mean, it was great, it was a great experience with Macau 2525. But this one, uh, this will be more focused, a little more, little more dialogues, and, uh, and, and hopefully we can make my proud, my, my proud, uh, hopefully we can make Macau proud again. And uh, the second goal is, uh, is actually to honor the Blade Runner movie, the classic one with Harrison Ford, um, which this year is the 40th anniversary. And it was released on 25 June 1982, and uh, I think it's the same day the book was released as well. So I want both the book and the movie to be honored, so we make our, our own um, interpretation of the book and the movie. Uh, released this day uh, as, a, as an honor for those for that film and the book. And uh, of course I hope when people look at this movie, they'll be uh, fascinated and um, and maybe buy the book and read it for themselves and realize, oh yeah, that was also in the movie. But of course this is not based on the book, this is just inspired, so most things will be just inspiration and only a few things will be uh, recognizable from the book, but the rest will be completely our own thing. And the third one is for myself actually to uh, try to be a director. This is the first time I'm directing by the way, so uh, um, kind of nervous a little bit and, um, about it, but I'm so proud and happy I got so many cast and crew working on this. Uh, I had a great team from Japan, I had you doing a great job, I had uh, uh, even an actress from Cyprus doing her part, doing a great job as well. We, uh, there are so many great people I work with and I'm very proud that I managed to collect a great team for, for a, a small production like this. And um, we want to know about your target audience. Well, the target audience will be definitely the fans of the book and fans of the movies. Uh, uh, I think they will enjoy this movie very much. Um, uh, of course, uh, of course, sci-fi lovers will uh, will also enjoy this movie as well. So this is um, so this is uh, of course a sci-fi movie that people maybe grew up with and love. So I hope they will enjoy it. Uh, of course, I try to make this movie soft as much as I can, so make sure that everybody can look at it. I don't want to make it, you know, a uh, rating R or something like this. I try to make it PG-13 as much as I can, you know, so so I want everybody to enjoy it. Of course, small kids might need their parents to look at it, because it's kind of a sensitive subject, but uh, but uh, I hope everybody will enjoy it, uh, those who are watching this. Thank you. Thank you for your interview. Yeah, we can't wait to see your full film. Congratulations. Thank you, and thank you for joining, by the way. So take care, and I wish you a nice evening. Thank you. And uh, see ya! Hi, Johan. Congratulations. 
My proud is my cow is proud, right? Mm, so noisy. Okay. We are still sleeping. Peace.